20 years of development, over $10 billion and no room for errors. In December 2021, NASA will launch the most expensive space observatory ever, James Webb Space Telescope. The telescope's launch site is located in Guiana Space Center on the northeastern coast of South America. Rockets launching from there benefit from a slingshot effect of being so close to the equator where the rotational speed of Earth at the surface is greatest, 1600 km per hour. The James Webb Space Telescope will be launched on Ariane 5 heavy lift rocket on one of the world's most reliable launch vehicles with over 83 successful consecutive launches. Ariane 5 provides a maximum 4.5 meters static diameter and usable length of 16 meters. But for the telescope to fit into the rocket, it must fold up at over 6.5 meters in diameter and about 25 square meters in area. Webb's primary mirror is too wide to fit into the RN5 fairing in one piece, so it's segmented into 18 hexagonal pieces on a hinged structure. It will be the largest mirror ever flow into space. Starting at liftoff, the Ariane RN rocket provides thrust for about 27 minutes. Webb begins to transmit telemetry data after payload fairing separation at an altitude of about 120 kilometers, almost three and a half minutes after the launch. Then Webb separates from the Ariane 5 30 minutes after the launch and the solar array deploys automatically moments afterward. Two hours after the launch, the high gain antenna deploys. 12 hours after the launch, there is the first trajectory correction maneuver by small rocket engines aboard Webb itself. There will be three trajectory correction maneuvers to get to Sun Earth Lagrange Point L2, one and a half million kilometers away from Earth, and to prevent direct exposure of telescope's optics and structures to the Sun, because overheating them will abort the mission before it can even begin. The first burn should occur between 12 and a half hours and approximately 20 hours after the launch, and it's a continuous burn, lasting up to a few hours. The second maneuver is a shorter burn, performed approximately two and a half days after the launch, right before sun shield deployment is scheduled to start. The final maneuver, performed 29 days after the launch, is designed to insert the telescope into the optimum orbit, Webb's orbit follows a special path around L2 that allows it to stay on Earth's night side and track along with Earth while moving around the Sun. Thank you for watching. Make sure to check our other videos about Webb Telescope, including its detailed deployment sequence.